What is going on, everybody? Welcome to Dylan Talks Tone. Uh, today, we're going to do the same thing we've been doing in these last couple videos, where we go through our entire pickup line on the website, and I just kind of give you an idea uh, of what, yeah, you know, if you're shopping, you might want to know what each of our pickups does, the intention of the tones for them, and that sort of thing, and how we like to use them. So today, we're going to talk about humbuckers. And along with that, I'm just going to kind of give you a little bit of a, just a tour of the website. So we've got a couple other videos where we've gone through other things, uh, telly and strat stuff, just kind of working our way through. So let's get into it. If you like guitar stuff, hit the subscribe button and the like button. Okay, first things first, I want to just give you a quick overview of the website in case you, is, this is your first time here, um, dylantoxtone.com. Uh, we have a couple of different categories here. Uh, we've got Dylan pickups, which is all of our pickups. Dylan gear, which is like merch, like this super cool shirt here. As well as we have this Dylan Talks Tone pickup vault, where you can actually go down here and buy special edition and short run versions. Um, usually they're a little fancier, got some kind of cool stuff going on. Uh, got some P90s in there, got some clear humbuckers in there right now. Got some blacked out humbuckers, that kind of stuff. Usually we do a little short run stuff there, you can check that out. Uh, and they're the same wines and everything, usually, as other pickups on our website. We just kind of do fancy stuff with them, and that is where you'll find that stuff. Uh, the other thing I want to mention is this little chat bot box. No, it's a, not a chat bot. It's a chat box. Uh, you click this, and you can have a direct chat that will go straight to my phone, and I will answer it as quickly as possible. Uh, this is not for, like... Hey, I have scratchy pots on my guitar. Uh, how do you, can you help me troubleshoot my wiring issue with my guitar? That sort of thing is kind of reserved for our Thursday night uh, Q&A that we do live on YouTube as well as Patreon. Because on Patreon, we do a lot of like live hangouts and stuff. And we have a live chat over on Patreon that I reserve just for that. So if you, um, you know, need help with various things, you can do that. This is more for like when you're shopping for stuff like which pickups should I get? Which capacitor should I use with, with this pickup I just ordered? You know, that kind of stuff. That's what that chat thing is for. Uh, please do me a favor, be patient with me in the evenings and on the weekends and such, uh, especially. And even during the day when we're winding pickups and making videos and stuff, it's just me, but it really is me. So, uh, you know, when I chat with you, just know that I'm getting to you as fast as I can. And it is just me. It's not, uh, you know, hired people. So anyway, there you go. Okay, let's jump straight into our humbuckers. Now, uh, this is all of them, so I'll try to go as quickly as possible, keep this concise. Our DAF humbucker. This honestly stands for Dylan Applied For. My buddy Jimmy made, named this pickup. This is our PAF. Uh, our motto here at Dylan Talks Tone is the new vintage. I believe that it is key and it is possible to get proper PAF vintage tones out of modern materials that are not unobtainium, and that's what these are. These are Alnico 5, right around 7.6 to 7.8K, 42 gauge wire, the proper dimensions, all the stuff. I will mention we use short leg humbuckers, not long leg, because it just makes it a lot easier to be compatible with more guitars. We just got that question this morning. These are available in modern and vintage. Now, let me explain this. If you're going to be playing a lot of live music, do not buy the vintage ones. They are not potted, uh, and they have braided wire on them. We are going to make a change to this pretty soon. I think we're going to put braided wire on everything because we really like it lately. It's working out really well. So you might see some revision to that, but the main difference between these two is that one's not potted and one is. The modern ones are not wound any different. They do not sound any different, but they are wax potted. And I would recommend for 99% of folks to get the modern version with the wax pot because it, it will be less unruly, okay? So I just want to note that. But some people like unpotted pickups, so we have the option. The Super 8 humbucker is very similar to our DAF. However, it has an Alnico 8 magnet in it. These are, if you want to have a little bit more edge on your pickup, if you want to hit your amp a little bit harder, they articulate well, they have great clarity because they are wound the same way as our DAF, 
but they have an Alnico 8 uh, magnet in them and they are amazing. This to me is the best single, single hum humbucker uh, if you're not gonna coil split that we make. This thing is fantastic as a just a little bit higher output pickup, but not crazy. So if you play a lot of straight up rock, a lot of metal, um, not metal metal, but you know, more gain, you're gonna really like this particular pickup. The next one is our Greeny Out of Phase. This is actually just our DAF, but when you order this, it's gonna come with braided wire and it's gonna come with one of the magnets flipped. Um, you do not have to put the magnet, the neck pickup in backwards. You can put it in whichever way you want. I don't like it backwards, I think it looks dumb, but if you wanna do that, you can. It does not affect anything. The internally, the magnet is different and that is what changes it to be out of phase. So we sell quite a few of these actually. So if you wanna do that, you can. It's wound, it's a DAF with a backwards magnet in the neck position. That's all it is. The Dylan Pickups Smoothie Humbucker, this is wound very similarly to a DAF. However, we use a different gauge of wire. And the idea here is it's a little bit higher output. Uh, it is not as bright as a regular PAF. If you wanna put this in a neck position of a guitar and you really want a sweet woman tone and it's really reactive to the tone knob and it's not as bright and you like a darker darker tone, a lot of folks will put these in their Hum Hum Jazz Masters or Hum Hum Strats where they're really trying to get kind of a darker uh, tone. They work great with uh, you know your long shimmering delays and stuff where you're really trying to get that darker, darker kind of stuff. Uh, these are fantastic as well. Our Thruxton Alnico 2 humbucker. This pickup is 8.2 to 8.4 ish K somewhere in there. Uh, it's modeled after the Slash uh, Alnico 2 pickup. Um, that's That sound is amazing to me. I absolutely love it. And since Slash was born in England and Thruxton uh, is one of my favorite racetracks in England. That's why that is named that. So the Thruxton Alnico 2, they are available in cream and black and um, regular black and nickel covers. I think we have all those on there. Yep. And gold as well. Great pickups. We sell a lot of these. They, they do really well for us. They sound great. They're just a little bit hotter than a DAF and they uh, have that Alnico 2 magnet. We have demos on each of our pickup uh, pages. This is this will be a link to a YouTube video where you get to hear those pickups used in a particular video. They may not, they may not be a uh, dedicated demo to the pickup itself, but they are used in those videos in a way that you can get a good idea of what they sound like. Now, let's get into the crazy department of our center punch humbucker. This is something, this is our most popular pickup. We sell these and DAFs the most, but this is where we got our start 10 years ago. The center punch humbucker is made for a couple of reasons. Well, it's made for one reason. I feel that it is possible to have a humbucker that you can coil split without a lot of volume drop. The way we do this is we wind this in a certain way with various wire and various things. This ends up being about nine and a half K, but when you coil split, you end up with about 5.9-ish K left on the slug side. What that gives you is a more full sounding coil split situation with no resistors, with no PRS funny business, okay? As a result of how these are wound, they have a little mid-range push to them. So they, if you want your Angus Young kind of SG rock and roll sound, that's what you're gonna get. These. Uh, sound fantastic clean. They do not hit the amp overly hard, even though they sound numbers wise like they'd be wound hot. They're not though. They 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 work very very well in a lot of situations. Um, but they really do give you that kind of Angus Young kind of sound. They're, they're fantastic. And then when you go ahead and pull that button, if you want a coil split, uh, instead of losing half the energy of the pickup, you're only losing about. 25 to 30 percent of the energy of that pickup therefore the perceived volume drop is a whole lot less and they work very very well 
I am really proud of this design. We have sold thousands of these and I am incredibly, incredibly proud of this design. It works really, really well. Um, is it zero volume drop? No, that's not possible. Physics don't allow it, but perception to the ears, it's very, very good. The center punch eight humbucker, uh, the, the regular center punch is Alnico five, which is my preference. Some folks wanted something a little hotter and without messing with the wind and messing with the coil splitting portion of that, the way we were able to attain that is to put an Alnico eight magnet in the center punch eight. That's the only difference between those two pickups. I will say they're a little edgier. Uh, the attack is a little harder uh, and they do hit the amp a little bit harder, a little bit more magnet. Um, but my preference personally is the five. I really like the five. Now, here is the other one, the eight ball humbucker. This is basically a center punch with a ceramic magnet in it. And it is incredible. If you're going to go uh, higher gain stuff, but you do not want to lose the clarity and you do not want to lose a good strong mid-range because that's what happens a lot of times with really hot pickups. This is your jam. You're still going to have a good mid-range. It's going to have a nice vocal quality for solos and that kind of thing, but it's going to hit the amp a lot harder. You're going to get into your gain stage better. It's going to really work well. And if you wanted to coil split it, it still will work because it's wound basically identical to a center punch. This pickup is really good. This is my one of my favorite. This and the Super 8, I would almost use interchangeably in that situation where you're trying to really push the amp really hard. Um, I, I really like this one. This is another one I would put in a single, single hum setup. I would also put the regular center punch in a single, single hum setup. Any of these humbuckers would actually go very well in a single, single hum setup, but the Super 8, the center punch, and the 8-ball are my favorites. And if you're going to do that, I would pair them with our Hot 5s from our Stratocaster line. That's what I would do with either of those three pickups in a single, single hum scenario. Uh, now we're going to get into a couple of specialty wines that are a little bit different. Our Quattro humbuckers are a a two blade, four magnet, uh, very high output pickup. These are in the 10 to 10 to 12 range, depending on the day. Um, they are real, real hot. And what's really neat about them, they're four ceramic magnets. What's really neat about these things is this is my passive EMG, I guess you would call it. The attack on them is phenomenal, but you do not lose clarity. So if you play these clean through a high wattage amp, it is like crystal clear. They are really, really cool. I really like these. I don't use them very often personally, but a lot of people really like these pickups. We sell quite a few of these, um, even though they're kind of a specialty wine. Uh, they're a little bit different fitment, the way they go in the guitar. It, they're short, they're real, real shallow. So just know that. So if you have anything thinner, uh, like a Schecter or a Charvel or something that you're trying to go uh, higher gain kind of stuff um, with really good articulation, these are going to be your jam and they're going to be shallow enough to go in a guitar like that. This next one is an interesting one. This is a Slant 6 Humbucker. Uh, these are, we don't sell very many of these, but these are really cool. If you want a single coil sound in a humbucker, this is your jam. When you look at this picture, you'll see right here that there are only three pull pieces on each side of the bobbin. This is not like a wide range humbucker. Wide range humbuckers are actually regular humbuckers, but they just cover up three of the pull pieces. These only have three pull pieces in each of the humbuckers, uh, each of the coils. So one side of the pickup is reading the top three and one side of the pickups are reading the bottom three. You cannot coil split these because they you'll lose three strings, basically. Um, they are phenomenally clear. If you want a more single coil sound, but it still is a humbucker, it's still hum canceling, 
this is your jam. A lot of folks will put these in the neck position of a Telecaster because it gives you this in between of a humbucker and a single coil, but it's also very quiet. So that's your jam. Those are super cool. Um, and uh, yeah, we, we don't sell too many of those, but I, I really like the design. It's pretty neat. And then finally, we have our Firebird pickups. These are, we try to wind these basically like a vintage Firebird pickup. Um, Alnico 5 magnets, they are very, very good. If you have an Epiphone with Firebird pickups in it, these are going to just wake the guitar up. Bar none, to tell you the truth, it's, it's just going to happen. They're really good. Um, actually, I have an artist um, that plays these pickups in a Gibson custom shop Firebird. He actually took them out and put these in. Um, and he, he tours with them and they are, the clarity and the bite to them is perfect vintage humbucker, vintage Firebird, uh, mini humbucker kind of style. They are Firebird pickups with blade magnets in them. They are not mini humbuckers, but they do fit in a mini humbucker route. A lot of folks are also putting these in Telecasters in the neck position. And that is a really cool way to use that pickup. So, uh, there you go. That is our humbucker collection at Dylan Talks Tone. The one thing I will tell you uh, as you're looking through this stuff is one thing you never have to worry about with us is muddy tone. Everything we make, all of our single coils, all of our P90s, all of our humbuckers, the, I would say the two things that I care about the most, clarity, no muddy pickups at Dylan Talks Tone ever. And how, no matter how much gain you put through those pickups, you're always gonna hear every note when you strum. We just don't want to lose note definition. That is the number one most important thing I really care about. Um, and a lot of these things, you do not need to worry about getting a particular tone leaning out of these pickups. You just need to buy, uh, in general, what you're looking for, how hard you want to hit the amp, do you want to coil split it. Keep your, dis your de um, decisions very simple. Put it in the guitar and just play them they will be an upgrade to any stock pickups that you, uh, that you have. I mean, um, you know, if you got 58 Les Paul with regular PAFs, I wouldn't take those out. But, you know, pretty much anything that you buy with a, a humbucker in it, you're going you're gonna to hear a real nice jump up in clarity and uh, definition with all this stuff. Thanks for hanging out. I know this was a little longer, but we had more pickups to talk about. I appreciate you very much. Hit the subscribe button and the like button. There's Patreon down there. We can talk about this more in the chats and over stuff over there as well. And uh, there will be links to this section as well as Dylan Talks Tone's other stuff in the description. So you can go check them out. Thanks for hanging out and we will see you in the next video.